Hello, Ula. Will you often come first to your office and leave your place with the latest tales? What are you doing during the day? Hello, Magerta. Yes, really, I'm coming one of the first to the office and leaving last. Uh, that's because of my duties at the Baltic Aviation Academy, uh, where I'm responsible for office management and um, visa support. Um, usually I'm coming the first uh, because I have to fix everything at the office. Not, not likely to fix, but just to prepare everything for a work day. And after all, I have to do my works during the day. So that's why I'm coming first and leaving the last. You are the person who sees all upcoming and current clients. What moods do they arrive to Baltic Aviation Academy and leave? Usually to the Baltic Aviation Academy they are coming very excited about, you know, about the starting trainings. Uh, usually they are coming with a lot of questions how they, are, how, how they will have their trainings here, uh, what's going to be, who will pick them up from the hotel and, and all, all other rest questions. Uh, personally, I'm, because of the fact that I'm uh, responsible for visa support, they are coming um, to me to ask about their visa prolonging extension and, and, and other questions. But usually they are coming and leaving in a very good mood and um, just with, with the best impressions about the Fein and our training center. Is it difficult to get a visa for a not Schengen Zone students? Actually, not really. Uh, that uh, that depends on on the on the schedule you are starting to prepare them. So, if everything is on time, everything is prepared on time. Uh, to get a visa is not a very difficult thing. Uh, but you know, sometimes sometimes there are some difficulties. But we are very supporting, uh, supportive, and supporting our clients to get visas on time, uh, not losing their very precious time uh, during the studies and working hours. What action does it take? What is necessary? Uh, I have to receive a copy of the passport uh, filled. Uh, form about the personal data and um, of course the, uh, the paper telling that uh, this person is really uh, working at the company he's telling he's coming from, let's say. Uh, so having all these documents I can uh, prepare all the documentation, invitation letters, uh, some other things and after receiving all the documents uh, I'm able to, to talk to the person responsible for visas at the office of the client that he can go already to the embassy to fill in the rest of the documents and get the visa. Usually it works and, and usually it, it goes really smooth. And again, say how long does it take till they get an invitation? Getting an invitation letter uh, takes about 24 hours, sometimes a bit more. Uh, most of most of the work has to be done before before applying for the invitation letter. So, let's say two three days till the receiving uh, invitation letter has a packed. Have you run into some funny situations while working with those visas and invitations? Honestly. <laughs> All the visas and invitation questions usually are very, not say funny, but they are entertaining because you have a lot, a lot of uh, conversation, talks, um, phone calls, and everything. So you know, communicating and talking with people is always a good thing. So you know, uh, there are always funny stories like uh, if I have to extend the visa and I'm asking a person. Why? Why haven't you seen that, that your visa is, you know, expiring in a day? Oh, you know, I was so tired, I studied so much and everything, so all the time uh, explaining all these things are quite a funny thing. Is this your main work or you also have some other responsibilities that can ruin the system if they won't happen in time and correctly? As I told at the very beginning, uh, I'm not only the visa support uh, person, but also an office manager. So all the documentation, all the orders and 
all the papers has to be done uh, on time to, to ensure that all the office can work properly. Uh, I mean, uh, orders for vacation and for, uh, for business trips and everything, so they have to be, be done on time without any delays because people has to move on and to live their lives and, and these papers really does give that, that opportunity to do it. Do you have your favorite country from which our students come? Oh, I love all the countries from, from which students are coming to Baltic Aviation Academy because they're coming here. It seems you are a superwoman. Take care of Baltic Aviation Academy personal, students, clients. Also, you prefer various transport, motor roller, buses, cars. Have you ever dreamt of piloting a plane, at least single engine? Actually never did, but who knows, maybe someday after a um, few years here, maybe I will, I will have this, this dream and I will try to fulfill it. Well, Ula, thank you for your answers and good luck in your job. Thank you.